So factorizing is when you have an expression that doesn't have brackets and you're trying to put it in two brackets. So 3x plus 6 obviously is an expression that doesn't have any brackets. So we want to put it into brackets. So the first step is to try and find the highest common factor. So that is the biggest number that goes into 3 and 6. So the highest common factor of 3 and 6 is 3 because 3 is the biggest number that goes into 3 and it also goes into 6. So what we need to do now is we need to stretch this out into its factors. So we're going to make it 3 times x plus 3 times, now this is going to be 2 because 3 times 2 gives you 6. So we've got 3 times x because we start with the highest common factor of 3 and then we need to multiply it by whatever will give us 3x. So 3 times x gives us 3x. Then for the second term, we start with the 3 because that's the highest common factor. And we're going to go 3 times whatever will give us 6. So this is going to be 3 times 2 will give us 6. Okay. Now you can see I've coloured them both green. Then what we need to do is we need to colour everything else that isn't a multiplication sign in a different colour. The 3 comes out the front because that is common. It's the common factor. It comes out the front. Then everything that is left, so in my case it's coloured in orange, goes inside the bracket. Okay, so green came out the front and then orange went inside. Right, so this time we have 2x plus 8. The first step is to find the highest common factor. So the biggest number that goes into 2 is 2 and it also goes into 8. So 2 is the highest common factor. So now I need to go 2 times something, 2 times something. So the first term, it's going to be 2 times, it's going to be an x because 2 times x gives you 2x. Then I'm going to go 2 times something will give me 8. 2 times 4 will give me 8. Okay, so you, this term here relates to this and this term here relates to this. Now I can do a little bit of colour coding. I'm going to colour my 2s the same because it's what they both share. And then everything that is not the same, x, the plus and the 4 are going to be a different colour. I'm going to put the 2 out the front and then everything that is orange goes in the inside of the brackets. All right, so for this one again, we need to find the highest common factor. All right, the biggest number that goes into four is four, but that doesn't go into six. So the second biggest number that goes into four is two, and that also goes into six. So our highest common factor is two. So you have to think for this one, two times what gives us four? Well, it's two times two gives us four. And then I'm just going to put the B after it as well because we can't forget about that. Then I'm going to do plus 2 because it's a positive 2 here times what gives us negative 6. 2 times negative 3 gives us negative 6 because we've got to remember it is negative 6. And then I can go times A times B afterwards because we can't forget the A and the B. So we know that the highest common factor is 2. So we colour in 1, 2 on either side. But then they also share this B. And then everything that's not common, so this two, the plus sign, the negative three, and the A, they all go inside the brackets. So we're going to end up with two out the front and the B. We can't forget that. And then inside, we're going to go two plus negative three A. And what you'll see is that I can simplify that even further because 2b is going to get changed. This is going to get changed into a negative, a positive, and a negative make a negative. All right, so we've got 14cd plus 7d. As always, we need to find the highest common factor first. So the biggest number that goes into 14 and 7. The biggest number that goes into 7 is 7, and it also goes into 14. So the highest common factor is 7. So what we need to do is we're going to start with 7 times something gives us 14. Well, that's going to be 7 times 2. 
and then we can multiply, put the C and the D on the end. Then for this second part, we're gonna go seven times something gives us seven, or well, seven times one. All right, so we need to find the things that are the same. They both have a seven, they both have a D. So that means on the outside of our brackets, we're gonna write seven D, and then inside the brackets, we're gonna write everything else, two C plus one. And that is what goes inside our bracket. So when we're factorizing, you need to first find the highest common factor, use that to stretch out your expression, and then everything that is the same goes out the front, everything that is different goes on the inside. 